Stay back. This ram is not for you. Stay. Stay. Hundreds. Stay. Hundreds. You must show me to Lysias. Please, bring me to him. Risked much to seek a blind prophet. Theresius! Bring the ram forward. Offer it up. First, show me the way. You're a clever man, Odysseus of Ithaca, but not a very wise one. You keep your eyes only on your home. Blinded, you do not see that it is the journey itself which makes up your life. Only when you understand this will you understand the meaning of wisdom. No. Wisdom. I will find alone. Help me find my way! The answer has been before your eyes every night at sea. On this side of Poseidon's realm, there is a constellation which never sinks beneath the horizon shaped like a hunter. Orion? Yes. Sail towards its brightest star, and there you will reach the Straits of Scylla and Charybdis. On one side is a creature, vile, ferocious. That is Scylla, insatiable for blood. She lurks in the shadow, hoping to fill her belly. And the other? A tidal pool, Charybdis. Her waters appear calm. She invites you in. But she is a thing of terror, Odysseus. When she opens her gaping mouth, you and all with you will be swallowed by her force. <laughs> This way, my son. Mother. Yes, I'm here. Mother. I took my own life out of grief. I could wait no longer for you.
forgive me. You must leave this place. Where is Penelope? She's waiting for you. Where? You must hurry. Men are trying to steal your world. Penelope was alive and waiting for me, but my mother's words burned my soul. Men would stop at nothing to steal my kingdom. Who's this then? Look! Look at this fool! You are Queen Penelope? I am the wife of King Odysseus. I humbly, I am the humble. Here it is. What? I am Elatus of Dilichium, owner of sheep and pigs. I have come. I am here to join these noble men. I bring gifts of gold and wool, and music, and jugglers for your palace. <laughs> Play! <laughs> what a carnival! I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> we don't stand a chance. The finest in Dilichium. I hope my father died a hero. If he is alive, he has forgotten me. Come. Come with me. Hey, wait, hey, wait. Yeah! The day the gods gave you to us, they took your father from me. But he promised me, with you lying here in my arms, that he would return alive, as this tree around which we built our world is alive. He is alive. Why hasn't he come? <sighs> I know your father. He is alive. There is something you must know. The day your father sailed, I swore to him a promise that if he had not returned by the time you were a man, beard on your chin, that I must remarry. I will keep my promise. We have time to wait. You do not have your beard yet. And these men? I will hold them off. Take me to your mistress. <laughs> Queen Penelope. All here believe Odysseus, king of Ithaca, is dead. Yes. I do not. Today, I will begin to weave a shroud for my lost husband. If he is not seen in Ithaca, before I finish, I will choose one of you to take his place beside me. I will send for maidens to help you. I alone must do this work. 
<laughs> Weave alone. We'll be old men by the time you finish. <laughs> <laughs> You have brought gifts to my door. I have given you a proper feast in return. Now I depend on your honor. Return to your homes. When my work is done, you will hear my decision. We will stay where we are. We will not leave here until you choose. Weave slowly. Your husband's wine is very good. <laughs> Winter turned to summer as we neared the Straits of Scylla and Charybdis. After a 16-year ordeal, nothing could frighten me or my warriors. But we had never seen what waited between those rocks. Under close. Light a torch. Nothing there. Give it the goat.
de glace. Master! Master! Hold on! Hold on! This tapestry will never be finished. I will take the work if you wish. No. Lock the door. Mistress? The door. strangers no longer. Drinking, sleeping where they drop. I have to crawl over that pig elephant each time I want to open the treasury. And to watch men from our own island eat you and Telemachus out of house and home, it's more than I can bear. At least there's life here now. Melanthe, quiet. Yes, take care of you. I've seen the way you run after that snake, Eurymachus. He asked me to serve him. I cannot refuse my mistress's guests. Guests? Guests leave when asked. How much longer can we stand this? How much longer oh, do we yeah, have to take you pigs? Calm down. Stop it. Pugs. Listen to you me. Pigs. Listen, I've ordered you guys. Hear me. They will have no meat. <sighs> they, will, they will go. I can't drive them away, but they are men. They will follow their empty bellies. Penelope! Penelope, I've won! Me, I've won! Alone, my men lost before my eyes. I floated endlessly on Poseidon's sea, wondering when he would take my life. You are safe. I need water. Bring him water. I need a ship. There are none here. Huh? No one comes or goes from my island. Oh. I must... I must find a way home. You are home. <laughs> Please do not mind my maids. You are the first man they have seen in their lives. 
I myself have not laid eyes on one for over 100 years. You are a goddess. I am Calypso. Come, rest. It is only a dream. No. It's real. My men. My brothers. They're all lost. Forget. No. No. Forget. What are you doing here in the dark? I'm gonna kill Antonus. All of them if I have to. Calm yourself, Telemachus. Antonus is a warrior. He's been to battle. He's cut men in two with his sword. You've not done that yet. Now is the time. No, it is not. If you kill him, the others will not leave. You'll give them an excuse to turn against you. Tell me, what can I do? Do as your father would do. Call on those who are still loyal to him for help. Me? Call the assembly? Who am I? You know who you are. You are Odysseus' son. Call them here. They will listen. Good men, 
It is I, Prince Telemachus, son of Odysseus, king of Ithaca, who summon you to this place. An army of suitors has invaded my palace. They slaughter my oxen, my pigs, my sheep to feast on. Soon I will have nothing to eat myself. They offer no proof of my father's death, yet seek to take his place. And before my mother's eyes, they beat my servants and break my legs. I ask you, men of Ithaca, in my father's name, help me rid my house of these shameless thieves. Good men, hear me. The boy lies. We suitors have broken no law, taken nothing which was not rightfully ours. No. Shame lies with his mother. We brought her precious gifts, and she took them with open arms. Now she must choose between us, which is right. This is your right. She must choose. Good men, not one of us should spill blood over pigs and sheep. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. We can do no more. Let us go. But my father is dead. You want to kill me. Tell me. I can see it. Wait, please, wait! If you will not help me, then give me a ship. I will sail from Ithaca and find my father. It is no use, Telemachus. Wait. Wait. The boy should not be punished. If he wishes a ship, we will give him a ship. <laughs> Elders? You will have your ship, Telemachus. You will have your ship, Telemachus. Go and find your father. <laughs> you have a reason for this? He will end like his father. And if he returns? We will greet him with the spear in his back. When I touch your skin, I wonder how you got this scar. You Troy? The day Achilles was taken from us. From a battle. A wild boar. I was 15. And my mother cried. Tears of happiness. You were going to leave without even thanking me for my kindness. Don't you see? No one leaves my island, and all that live here exist to serve me. The 
will be another ship. Perhaps. In another ten years, perhaps never. Forget Ithaca. You are home now. You did not say goodbye to your mother. The sorrow ugh, is on your face. She would try to stop me. Ah, uh -huh. you are right to fear the sea. I'm not afraid. I've never set foot from Ithaca. Do not worry. The gods are watching you with favor. Favor? Mm. <laughs> the gods have cursed me oh, oh. since the day I was born. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Your head is as hard as your father's. Athena. Uh-huh. You are mental? When I wish to be, yes. You spoke very well at the assembly. You kept your wits. And used them wisely to get the ship. But you did not help me. You are your father's son. Remember. The gods will not do for men what man must do for himself. You must make this journey. This wind will take you. Go! Go before the ship sails without you! I never crossed the sea! Where should I go? Sparta! Sparta! I'm alone now. For two more years, Calypso's island was my prison, forgotten by the outside world, abandoned by Athena. My hopes of ever reaching Penelope began to fade. Another? Oh, Calypso the Concealer is not overjoyed to see me. Get away from here. Calypso? I'm only a messenger. Who loves to bring painful news. You're keeping this man prisoner. I have given him a home. It is not Odysseus's fate to end his days on your island. You are to set him free without delay. These are the words from the lips of Zeus himself. Neither Zeus nor any god pities Odysseus. It is envy which sends you here. They are all outraged by me openly making love to a mortal man, choosing him as my husband. Calypso. It is I who pulled him from the sea, who tended to his wounds. You're all jealous of my happiness. Do not incur Zeus's wrath. Offer this man his freedom, or your island will be driven to the bottom of Poseidon's sea. Farewell.
Go home to your Penelope. Why? Is there a ship? No. Now go. Swim. I do not care. They will not try to stop you. Just leave my eyes. A moment ago, you left this cave with so much love in your eyes. Now you want me to leave? You are no longer worthy of me. Why weave that? Did someone come to you? Was it Hermes? You must help me build a ship. Please. on the far side of the island. In a cave, there is dry wood. Washed onto the shore, shoot her. Shoot her? for you some wine. Keeps her mistress from finishing her tapestry. Oh. It is a secret. <laughs> it is a secret. What is true? Oh, 
I do not mean to frighten you to enter your room, but I had to see. Oh, my. Leave me. It is a mistake. Now, your deceit can only bring trouble. I will not speak a word, but your maid, she may tell another. That's it. Mm. Mm. I have no choice. It will not trick them much longer. It has been too long since you felt a man's touch. Sixteen. Take mine in the siege tonight. These other men, they come for your fortune. I come for you. I cannot. I love my husband. Your husband is not alive. I will wait for his return or till my son brings proof. I am sorry. It is I who have no choice. You may stay if you choose to. Your wife has aged during these years, Odysseus. She will not match my beauty. No mortal woman could ever match you. I love Penelope. And she has aged. As I have. And when I reach you, thicker. We'll grow all together. With me, you will never grow old. Never die. I can make you immortal. I would rather lie in my wife's arms for one moment as a man, than to live forever without her.
Who is this boy my son brings? Telemachus of Ithaca, Highness. Welcome to Sparta, stranger. There is the king. Now go. Good King Menelaus, I have traveled long and far to meet you. Oh, you have your father's searching eyes. The same thoughtful forehead. Yes. Oh, yes. You are Odysseus' son. You are his son. I sail from Ithaca to find him. Can you help me? You know, I saw you on the day you were born. It was the proudest and most painful day of your father's life. We fought together at Troy, side by side, watching our brothers fall. Your father stopped the slaughter. He freed us to return to Greece. But he will never see his home again. He is dead. How can you know? Not one day, not one hour passed for Odysseus of Troy without you and your mother in his heart. Only death could stop him returning to Ithaca. But you, you, Telemachus, you must return. And you must fight for what is his and yours. Now, go. What? 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 What do you want from me? 
me! What do you want me to understand? Speak to me! Speak to me! That without gods, man is nothing. I was alive, broken by Poseidon's waves, and still far from Ithaca. But I was alive. I had reached Phaeacia, a land of mariners and fishermen. Unsure whether I would be welcomed, I was led to the palace of their ruler, the powerful king, Alcinous. I've shared with you my food. Now will you share with me your name? I cannot. My name has long been cursed. To let it leave my lips would only cause you pain. I know only one long lost hero who, being cursed by the gods, could survive. It's cunning. Odysseus. I am he. I never dreamt I'd see Odysseus himself. It's an honor to all Phaeacia that such a hero as Odysseus of Ithaca sits among us. I will give my finest ship, heavy with gifts and food, and the finest mariners in all Phaeacia to sail you safely home. The Phaeacians carried me towards Ithaca, but it was Poseidon who allowed me to continue my journey, to consider his words. I understood that I was only one man in the world. Nothing more, and nothing less. What night without sleep? His body will fail him in Ithaca. Montanus, come here! Blend a sleeping potion. Yeah. Drink this. 
Who's there? Jesus. Son, he left a year ago to look for you. Go, go, bring him here. Telemachus, you're safe. Yes. Look at you. <laughs> tell me, how is my mother? She'll be overjoyed to see you. But come, tell me of your journey. Later, I must go to her. Telemachus. Who is it? Who is there? It is your father. Do not dare say those words. Come out of there. What trick is this? It's not a trick. You cannot be my father. Odysseus is dead. Odysseus is alive. And he's standing before you. Stay back. Please. Look at me. You see yourself. In my face. I see only a man with no respect for a son's feelings. No, no, you are my son. And these are the hands here which brought you into this world, here. In this field, no. I held you for all the world to see. I showed you Ithaca. I showed you your home for the first time. And then I was taken from you and your mother. I place you in her arms, in our bed, which I built with these hands. She must have told you this. It makes my soul sick. These men have got black hearts. They fear nothing. 
They'll all run like dogs now. Yes! They deserve to die. Yes! Antonus, most of all. Eumaeus, bring them food for the feast. I'll never feed them again. Never! You will do as you have always done. You trust your crew? No. They were given to me out of the suitors' men. Tell them you'll join them later. Tell no one I've come. Hmm? Especially your mother. Use your mind. That's why I love you, my Odysseus. Any other man, after so many years, would have rushed home to embrace his wife and children. And blinded by his impatience, would have been hacked in two by the intruders. Only you know better. Then tell me, how do I still keep my life? and free my house of these men. Are these suitors what you're truly afraid of? There is nothing left for me to fear. You see me trembling. I tremble with rage. Oh, you still lie well, my Odysseus. But I know what your head asks your heart. You are afraid your Penelope has been untrue to you. still with me. That I cannot help you with. But... Only your son will recognize you this way. Go to your palace. Find the answers you seek. When you see what they have done, you want to kill as much as I do. It is not yet the time to fight. You must learn. To be angry is easy. To be angry at the right man, at the right time, and for the right reason. This is difficult. Do you understand? Yes. Repeat. Prince has shown his face with an old beggar at his side. He's mine. I'll cut out his heart and feed it to the dogs. Now, calm yourself, <laughs> think. You must attack first or all Ithaca will rise against us. You'll never do it. My voice makes him tremble. Prince Telemachus, welcome home. Ah, the gods have delivered you safely. He went for his father and found a filthy beggar. <laughs> Tell us, why have you given up your search? I sailed to Sparta, 
and heard the words from King Menelaus' lips. I believe my father lies at the bottom of the sea. Oh, finally understands. Then you see we have certain rights in your home. Yes. The boy prince has returned home as a man of honor. And look, he even has his beard. His first beard. Weak, but it is a beard. It is time for you to enter the ring. Enter into manhood. I will accept any challenge you offer. But now I must be with my mother. His mother. Until then, this beggar is a guest in my house. Feed him generously. Bring your bowl. They will serve you. You see, I've lived the boy to you. You cannot kill him in the ring. You can, as long as he tries to kill you first. I did not find him. I know my father is alive. Mother, you must hear me. I brought a wise old man, a beggar. He may help us find father. When the palace sleeps, I will let you see him. But now I must go. Antonus has challenged me, and as a man, I must accept. Yes. You are a man. Take this humiliation. Take this. Today is the day. Antonis! You are dead! Come on. Kill me. Kill me! You've wanted to for three years. Are you man enough?
about this boy? His father left him in my care the day he was born. That scar. I know that scar. Master. <laughs> Do not speak one word. I wanted to thank you and to tell you that I'm sorry you were treated poorly in my house. There is no need. I'm here for a night. For you, trapped in this palace, it must, it must be an eternity. Yes. I must end this misery. While my son is still alive. Tomorrow, I will set a contest for my hand. Well, you're right. To wish for a new husband. I do not wish it. But the day Odysseus left, he he took me by my hand. So gently, and he asked me to promise that I would do this. This is the last sacrifice I can make for him. He's alive, little Odysseus. Yeah. He's alive. He knows your sorrow. to touch your hands and hold you in his eyes. Kiss your lips. He will come to defend you. You will see. If only it were true. Good night. the spears.
What are these axes? Philodius. The goat herd, he's with us. He may be trusted. Tell us, Shepard! What is your mistress's plan? I will tell you all. This is the bow of Odysseus, king of Ithaca. The man who strings it and shoots an arrow cleanly through all 12 axes will take his place. What? This is no way to choose. It cannot be done. My father did it. Ooh. Huh? Maybe he can. Wait! Wait, you will not see the winner. You are all the same to me. Oh, 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 oh. It's not fair! I've never struck a bow. This is not right! I gave up 50 sheep! A hundred goats! As gifts from Delixia! Tender than fool. <laughs> it's impossible. He won't be able to do it. Only two tries, Eurymachus. Yes. You can't do it. Come on. No, Come on. no, he's going. Come on, you're nearly there. No. <laughs> Farewell, Odysseus. I have been true to my word. Telemachus has ordered us to the maid chambers. What are you doing? Don't be foolish. Who are you, old man? Telemachus. 
Now is the right time for your anger. treated your wife as a queen. We lived off your land, but that can be replaced. We did not kill anyone. Your crime is that you tried to steal my world. The world I built with my hands and my sweat. No, anyone. And my blood. The world I shared with a woman who bore me my son, and no one will ever take that from me. Now you will die to a man in a river of blood. A river of blood! The spears! We cannot die like lambs! The masters are not worth dying for. Menace! Open the doors! Menace! Menace! Open the doors! No! No! <coughs> 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 Don't let your mother's eyes fall on this womb. When it is cleansed, you tell her I'm home. Thank <laughs> you. 
how much I must have changed. No. You're still the same. <sighs> and you're still a liar, Odysseus. It's 20 years since you held me in your eyes. There was only one day. Then in one day, you've seen all the world. Yes. And there's much that is sacred and beautiful. But nothing as beautiful as a man's own world. That he could take in his hands. And know all the whispers. Oh, my God.